wrong direction. Me. I was going to come on tonight because I was working, but I decided to come on because I can do that. This is Talk A Lot with James Law Jr., your late-night IG talk show that hasn't been every night in the last couple weeks because I've been so busy, but I've been trying to come on when I can. Normally, this is going to be the show I do with my email. We didn't put a show together tonight, The Therapist and the Life Coach. You can catch our episodes here on IGTV. You hit my little story, and you can kind of see um, past episodes. They're good. They're great episodes. We'll do another one soon. We'll do one soon. Um, but I was, I, was, I was so busy doing some casting stuff, looking at a writing thing. I was, I had another show was giving me a video. I mean, it's like just it's like 10,000 things going on. Um, so I've been so busy just trying to get that together. And at the same time, I got some new plants. I had some things going on. So I'm trying to also add in not just work in my whole day. So I do take breaks. I had a nap today. I don't know if I had dinner with my sister. I, there's things I do also because I'm not going to work 24-7. I refuse to. That's not going to be my life. Um, I prioritize. And I got four. I got three interviews tomorrow. I got three interviews tomorrow, so I'll work those out, clearly. Um, but, yeah. As you guys can follow me, I'm going to... Oh, I dropped. How's everybody tonight? There we go. You can see me. I'm gonna, I gotta check something. So how's everybody? What's going on? You know, me typing again. How exciting. Um, I'm in the middle of casting these shows. Oh, there it is. Okay. Forever a day. I need to um, download this. No, I don't want to do that. Um, there we go. I got to download the episode. Yeah, so no, yeah, so we are, I'm just, I have some casting, uh, some shows. And so that's been very interesting and Terrasante doing that. Um, finding, trying to find good people. Let's see what's going on. To see if anybody else uh, applied. So far now, okay. I have three shows to put together, and one of them is coming together faster than the others, and that's the Christmas show. But again, I can talk about Christmas on here. I gotta get ready for Christmas. It's already September, and I want the show to come out at the end of November, so I got to get the show on the road. Luckily, it's only six, six episodes, so we should be able to do it. Um, it's all kind of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Um, this is my basic question. Perfect. I had to pull out some stuff because I have an interview at 10 tomorrow at 1 of 4.30 of people that I am meeting for the first time. Um, hi. How you doing? How you doing? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let me put this person's bio out. So I can see what this person's all about. Oots and a boot. I know, I wasn't going to come on today because I'm busy trying to do stuff. But I miss you guys, so I'm coming on. For episode 96, I'm getting towards um, 100. I still don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Also, I'm going to do a Mandalorian after show. The Mandalorian is coming out. Out, so we're gonna do a Mandalorian after show. I'm very excited. A new Darth Vader's Your Father episode comes out tomorrow. Did that. I gotta check. I gotta check this um, Kate Linder episode. So my left-handed pen. This is a left-handed pen that has this thing here. It's left-handed. Check out Kate Linder interview. I gotta do that tomorrow too. I got boxes to send out. My grandson's birthday, Rylan, he turns 14, is tomorrow. So I'm very excited. I, I wish I could be there with him. I wish. I cannot be there in person. His stuff's going out late, but that's just how it is. But we're going to, I'm, I'm um, excited to. 
sit down with him. We get to call him. I have to call him. I can't. I can't uh, see him in person. That's kind of sad. Because they're not social distancing and doing what they're supposed to be doing. I told him I cannot come see them. Just how it is. So, I said, I have to take care of my, um, I got to take care of my health. So, I can't see my grandkids and my kids right now because they're not taking care of business. So, I was like, okay. So, that I will not be seeing them. And so, I'm sad about that, but nothing I can do about it. I like, I have to take care of myself. So, that is not going to happen. Do you not send me a thing? Shoot. Mm-hmm. My, um... My uh, health is more important. That's kind of how that's that's how that that's going. So I was like, oh well. So, but yes, I do miss them, and I'm not seeing them. But I'm actually I'm actually sending my grandkids there. Um, my one granddaughter, her birthday was earlier. It was like heavily when I was planning on flying to go see her when COVID hit, the shutdown hit. So I actually. Um, I can't go. I'm sending her her, her her birthday gifts. Why am I getting a text? Sorry. I I got some kind of uh, email that, I mean, some message I had to, like, look at. I want to tell you guys something. So, I do, I do, I do some after shows, as you guys know. And I do some stuff. And I work with some of the networks. And it's funny when... I saw that I, I said I don't want I don't want to you know I'm shady but I don't want to out them right now but a a show that wasn't a rival but was like a let's say a cousin to our show first privately they asked us if we want to take our hit show and fold it into their show that's not as a big hit as ours and I'm like why would we do that me and my co-host were like no why would we do that it makes no sense now a month or so later. We see that they are now working with the network to do a exact rival show that rivals ours. I'm feeling a little salty about that. Feeling a little salty. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it exactly. I haven't said nothing. I haven't done nothing. But yeah, I'm feeling a little like, hmm, I don't know, I don't know if I like that. Exactly. So I'm just kind of like, okay, hmm. And now I got another email with something that's something similar that's, that's happening again. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that yet. It is a hmm situation. I don't know all the information, so I, mean, I don't. I don't, know, I don't. I don't know all the information, so I'm trying not to jump to conclusions. But on the surface, it looks shady. So we will see how I feel about that at some point. So that's happening. That happens in Hollywood a lot of times. That does happen in Hollywood, so it's not exactly, you know, that um, uncommon. I guess. This guy I'm interview tomorrow. His name is Byron, and he's white. He smells like he's black. I was like, okay. I thought you were black, but you're not black. I was like, all right. Spelling it, spelling it a different way. Okay. I was like, all righty. So, yeah. I don't know, people are crazy. Anyway, the stuff happens, I know. Things happen. I oh, know. I don't know, kids. And this person didn't send me a didn't send me a bio, so I'm like, how am I gonna get this person's information? I mean, he's my first interview tomorrow, too. Of course, I have no, I know nothing. I just realized I know nothing about him. This is a little behind the scenes, folks. Normally, at the very most, if you do an interview, at least know a little bit about what they do. That's kind of like important. So now I gotta try to find him. 
and get some information on him because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know her. So I'm like, um, I don't know anything about him. I'm trying to spell his name. I'm talking crazy. It's like, you need to know a little bit about these people before you, um, uh, before you interview them. There he is. Okay. I still don't know anything about him. This is so crazy. I guess I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to play it off. This is a good I want to learn how to play this off because I'm like, I do know nothing, I know nothing about him. I'm like, um, I gotta piece things together. Cause I'm like, mm-hmm. What are you guys up to? What's going on? Hi, Miss Christina. What's going on? What's going on? Cause I don't know what's going on. I gotta flag that one. Mm-hmm. It does go fast. I just, I just, I fucking just shaved this. I just, I just fucking shaved this. It's crazy. I just shaved it. I gotta shave it again. I should shave it on camera. I should shave it on camera. Should I shave it on camera? So I do a little shave, a quick shave for you guys. Be funny if I did that. Seriously, I'm like. It goes that fast. Just like that. Mm hmm. I know. Should I, shave, should I shave my head really quick for you guys in person? I can pull my clippers out and do it. I got a little information on him. So, literally, literally, I have, a, I have a glass of wine, too. I'm like, should I be doing that? I'm like, glass of wine. And do it. I, actually, I'm, not, I'm totally sober. But, I'm not sure your head is going to grow a lot. You might as well share it because it's growing fast. No, I need to share it because I feel it. I totally feel it. Okay, kids, we're going to do a little something for you guys. You know, I just took a shower earlier. Okay, let's see if this will work. I need, I need to put this somewhere. This needs to go somewhere. Um, where can I, I wish I could put you right here. Uh, let me see, I'll just do it this way. I'm left-handed, so I can do it this way. <laughs> you guys, this is, this is so like, this is like, something different for you guys. For episode, six, for episode 96, here's my clippers. I'm not gonna do this. You hear it? See, it has a little thing, it's, it's 83%. Can I do this? <laughs> yeah. That's why I can do this. I'm left handed. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> I should do it with my thing. Just like that, my hair grows so fast. It's really hard doing this. I'm trying to do this and do it on camera. My hair is just falling off. That's crazy. There it goes. Oh my god. Now I can't do it with the back of my head, of course, because. But look at my hair grows so fast. That's my hair from just behind there's more hair there. Isn't that funny? All those grays right there. Ooh, it's been looking better already. Okay, I'm shaving my head on camera. I went from being scared to shave my head to shaving it. But it's kind of hard doing it with trying to hold the phone. Isn't that funny? And I got stuff I got. Now I can't do the back. I think and talk to you guys at the same time. I should leave the front. Isn't that funny? I love these clippers. Right. I know, brought to you by James Lott Jr. Shaving a, a lot of hair with James Lott Jr. But now let's get in my face. 
Let's see, I can't do the back, I don't think. Oh, I can do it a little bit. It's so funny, it's coming off. I can feel it. But it grows so fast. And just this little piece of hair that I'm doing, it feels better already. I can't believe I'm doing, I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Things you guys get me doing for, for likes. It's, just, it's kind of crazy trying to do it in here. I see my head over there too. It's so crazy. I gotta clean it up, but that's a start. It's a total start. Oops, can't turn this thing off. Oops. <laughs> so that's a start. I gotta do more. That's a start. And here's. I need a brush. That's a start. I have to fish the rest when I'm not on the phone. Because it's hard, it's hard to do it while you're on the phone, but. That's a start. I think I saw it off. I gotta do more. I gotta do more. I gotta do more. So I'll clean it up. Thank you, folks. I'll make it. I'll do better. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta do more of this up here, which I will. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? But yeah, I'll, I'll probably do another shaving. And I'll clean all that up out there. I'll do another shave. So I just I just shaved on camera. I can't believe that. So I'll do another shaving. Yeah, I'll make it pretty. But that's a start. So you see, it's even a little less just from doing that. It's a little less already. Isn't that crazy? My hair grows so fast. It just grows so fast. It does. Okay, so I got him. It out. I won't forget. I won't forget to do the rest. I gotta be on camera tomorrow morning, so don't worry, I'll do the rest. I'll make it all prettier. But I do feel better already, though. Just from that, I feel better. Jesus. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know, I just did that for you guys. So this is up for, for episode 96. Good shit. Mm-hmm. Give you a little head shave for September 2nd. Second, kids. I'm interviewing these two uh, ladies who started this um, organizing business in the Midwest. I'm very excited. I'm interviewing them tomorrow to celebrate 10 years together. I'm interviewing them tomorrow, so I'll put that together tomorrow. I'm going to do it right now. That'll be tomorrow. There you go. And that's up. Let's go back and lay down. There we go. So that's up. But yeah, so I am. So right now I am booking non-union talent for these shows, these audio shows that I'm doing. And the shows are really, they're short form. They're short form shows. They're not that long. We're talking eight to like maybe 15 minutes long each, the episodes. <laughs> So if you know anybody who wants to do some voice acting, send them to me. I have roles on all three shows. Literally, it won't take that much of people's time. There's no pay right now because I'm just right now. This is all this is all free work. But I tell people that I will respect your time and your talent. I will not overwork you for any. I'm not going to just use you uh, because I'm not paying you. But pay could come later. But right now. It is um, a chance for you. Would you, Christina, actually, Christina, would you be on one of my shows, actually? That's so funny. I don't know if I, if I poach you away from Forever and a Day for another show, I wonder if they would be like, because it, be, it would be done during, I, I might have a role for you, actually, Christina. It is still part of JLJ Media. People do use the, some of the same actors on JLJ Media, I mean, on, on, their, on their same networks. That's interesting, Christina. Hmm. That's interesting. You definitely will be in the rotation. Because I have a lot of different roles. I mean, you could play small role, big role. I mean, I probably gonna cast the big roles to other people. So I can make sure I want to give people a chance, of course. That's why I said this last a couple nights ago when I was on. 
I want to make sure I give people who don't get a chance normally a chance to be a star, so to speak, even if it's a small, you know, a small show or whatever. Um, yeah, but I do have other parts. I do. Whereas, actually, there's this one part I think you might be really good for, Christina, actually. <laughs> It would be a it would be a co starring role, and it's not a soap opera. These aren't soaps; these are comedy dramas or dramas. So they're not they're not soap operas. So that's a, I'm now I'm now I'm like, hmm, Christina, 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 Christina. Flo Beto's going to be in one. You guys, you know Flo Beto on here. He's going to be in one of my shows. Yes, he is. Um, and then Ronnie Junior, who's on here, he's going to be on one of my shows. Oh no, Christina's the bomb on Forever a Day. Oh, I, I, she knows I, I love Stephanie. She knows that. I'm all, I'm all, I'm into her performance. But this would be a different performance than you're doing. It just, oh, it's, uh, now I'm like getting things. I'm getting things. Okay. I will contact you, Miss Christina. Um, and answer SMCRM, no, because it's a, it is uh, audio. And right now, there's no studios. We're not in, nobody, no studios are open. We're not in studios. So all recordings would be done a, another way, but it would not be, but it be, we would have to be in the same room. So if you know somebody who wants to do it, or yourself, you want to be on, you want to be on the show? I got small parts, I got large parts, I got reoccurring parts. Uh, but yeah, Flo is going to be a lead in one of my shows. Yes, I've made him the lead in one of my shows. So well, man, I'll make those announcements soon, because right now I'm still in the whole casting process. But, like, Miss Christina 617 gets ahead of the pack because I already know her and her work. So I'm like, yeah, we need to get her on one of my other shows. That is, actually, let me write that down because I'm old. I'll forget. I don't want to be forgetting nothing because I'm old. So, Christina, I'm going to send you over. Oh, I know. Okay, Christina, I'm going to send you. Okay, Christina, I'm going to send you over two drafts of two different shows that I'm thinking about you for. Let me, so let's see, folks, this is business happening right now. This is what I do. I got to do it now because I'll forget. So, Christina, I'm like, um, uh, I'm going to tell you which role I'm thinking about you for, and I'm going to send it over to you. Um, that's, that's the wrong one. Um, for Manchester Avenue. So, I will, yes. Okay, I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm going to, so, so you guys are seeing this is what I do for a living. So right now, I'm going to go to her email. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it comes up. I'm spelling her, why am I spelling her name wrong? Because I'm too excited. There she is, okay. Okay, subject line, JLJ Media Shows. Okay, I'm typing to you. I'm typing to see you live on my show, girl. There are two shows I could see you on. Attached is drafts of first episodes of both. This is Life Kids, both. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to tell you what, what role I'm thinking you for. I'm going to send them to you and see if you gravitate towards. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to GLG Media Shows. Do, 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 And then there's one. I gotta make sure I got to make sure it's the right. Because I'm a Mac. I have a Mac computer. So I always got to change things from pages to a PDF or a Word for everybody else. So let's see, that's that one. Okay. And do 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 Okay, and that one. Okay, girl. I'm saying it to you right now. Sent to you. And I'm putting this on my board. Right there. Okay, and then for to this person, don't save. So it's being sent to you, Christina, right now. Look at it at your leisure, whatever you want to. Um, flagged. 
Okay. Let's see. And this person. Okay. I'll say sample of both. Okay, sample of drafts of first episodes of both shows. So that would do it to her. So not that one. Uh, this is life. You got it? Okay. They're really, they're really short. I mean, they're simple. I mean, they're really short. The shows are going to be completely quick. Okay, so there's that one for this person. I, know I have another person I'm sending stuff to. Okay. This is good. Christina Sullivan. So you see behind the scenes of what James does. This is what James does all day long. He's like... This is what he does. And I'm waiting to hear back from people. Some people got back to me. Others haven't. I'm like, I'm like, okay. Okay. And where's the other one? Fairview Heights. This other person. Sense. Okay. So those are done. Done, 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 done. And then... They're sending, on on sending. You are okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, I also get that, you know, you could, that's the people, and since people use their same talent on their shows and things sometimes, so you are on JLJ Media, so that is part of the family. Family of products. So, and not, not the same role at all. So, okay, that's kind of fun. So, this is what James does all day long, every day, seven days a week. Seven days a week. So if you're not following Molina Productions, follow them on Instagram and on Twitter. They're new. They're, they're the co-producers, creators, and, um, oh, okay, creators of Fairview Heights, Manchester Avenue, and Mr. Toll Road. So they're, they're, the, co, they're the co-writers, co-producers, everything. So uh, we're having a good time. It's a little bit of what I do. It's a little bit of what I do, folks. Like, all day long, it's what I do. I'm like... And I try, and I'm very, I'm an organized person, so I try to do it now when I'm thinking about it because um, now obviously if I'm if I'm with my mom doing something, I'll do it now. I make a note for myself. But if I'm home, like right now, I would I just go and take care of it now, so then it's done. Christina has it in her hands; she can do whatever she wants with it. Get back to me whenever it's out of my hands. So, so now it's it's I hate I hate procrastination. I can't wait. I'm, I'm belching from this this wine. I like procrastination. I like to wait and then like keep waiting. And then you go, I'll do it later. And then you'll do it later and you forget and then things happen. Um, so I don't want to do that. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to put these together. Mm hmm. So exciting. So exciting. Tomorrow is a new episode of Darth Vader is your father. A new episode of what was tomorrow? Uh, in between the pages of James Lott Jr. Um, and then some reruns. Uh, I'm gonna repost an episode of Studio City the After Show. I gotta do the next after show. I haven't finished yet. And I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get some of the actors on there, and it's taking forever to get back to me. Um, and then, yeah. 
then Friday, it's uh, Daytime Today, big, 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 Bold and Beautiful Rewind, all kind of stuff. And soap, sat, soap Sunday, the soaps. I haven't watched any soaps, so don't ask me anything. I don't know anything that's happening to any soaps. I haven't watched nothing. I, I was hoping, I was going to hope to try to watch some starting tomorrow. But I might be binge watching everything on Saturday. They have a big birthday for somebody in the family on, on Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do there. I don't even know. I have so much going on. So much. But I'm not going to stress out. I'm not going to go crazy. Just going to work it out, have a glass of wine, and work it out. But these shows are so much fun. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Putting it all together. Randomly RJ. Speaking of somebody's going to be on one of my shows, Randomly RJ. I just got someone who wants to be on one of my shows. And I just booked some folks for one of the shows. This is something you know I'm in the middle of casting. Um, so, folks, you don't have to live in Los Angeles. You can just, like, you can live anywhere. As long as you have a good Wi-Fi connection or a phone, we can work it out. Uh, but Randy RJ is going to be one of my shows. I'm still figuring out which one. I think I have an idea which one I'm going to make I'm going to make him do. But he says he's up for the challenge. But I think I'm going to use Randy RJ in two shows. I think I'm going to use him as a uh, supporting, reoccurring character on one show. And possibly make him a lead on another. So I'm telling you, I'm telling your business, Randy RJ, you don't even know yet. Mm-hmm. We're going we're gonna to challenge... I know I watched Big Brother tonight. But tonight, tonight wasn't even boring. Not today. Oh my God! Today was actually I was shocked by today's Big Brother. But that's, I'm not, I'm not, you guys, half of you guys don't even watch the show, so I'm not, not going to get into it now. But I actually I was impressed by today's Big Brother. Actually, I was impressed. So I I was like, but I am waiting to see a twist come up. They're actually, I'm so nervous. I know you're nervous. That's what that's we're going to walk through it. So I think we'll start with the smaller part first and then go from there. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's, 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 I, was, I was impressed. I was much more impressed this episode than I've been. You're right, because it's been kind of like, you know, him and Han this last couple of weeks. But this tonight's episode was something else. I, will, I, will give it, I, I was surprised. It doesn't make me like these people any better, but it just made me go, oh, okay, okay. Me one line. Hi. That's it. Thank you. Or thank you. I need to walk off. That's it. Because I, I have a lot of, I have a bunch of small parts, and I'm thinking about maybe getting an actor to play several of the small parts. Just on, because certain, certain episodes, you know, um, uh, an art dealer can sound the same as a waiter, or the same as, I mean, there's a bunch of just smaller parts, so... Uh, I might do a few of those myself too to change my voice a little bit, but I'm like, and it's a bunch of small parts, but no brand new artists. We're gonna give you, gonna give you something substantial. You're gonna walk through it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna be fine. It's not. It's not even a camera. So it's all. It's all just voice. So you said you want to try it. You're gonna try it. You know, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Carver is. I I just I just casted Carver. I just tonight casted him. The guy's voice is amazing. I think he fits it. Um, I'm. We're finishing up an episode two of Mr. Toe Road, and Carver is like. It's front and center. He's front and center, and so this is going to be interesting. Thank you. And then yeah, these are we're trying we're trying to do something that's just that's you know is authentic. We're trying to do something that's real and fun and and um and entertaining on some level and real i mean like really real stuff um so it, we want you to feel like you could be going through this or you're going to go through this and it's very la all these shows are set in los angeles they're set in south los angeles southeast los angeles areas that don't get a lot of attention um so you'll feel that part in the show so Rami RJ is correct. The shows are gonna feel very LA. So it's gonna be that's it's 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 on purpose. Um it's on purpose and the locations we're using are on purpose. Again, one day they could become video shows. 
that I would want them, I want them, show, I want them shot down here. Uh, but right now, they're audio, but I'm trying to give you a glimpse. Yeah, it's not the, it's not the LA you usually get. You're absolutely right about that. It's not that, it's not that LA. It's always the other LA's. Um, but I'm just like, no, we're going to do, and I know these areas very well. I live down here. So I'm like, we're going to showcase them. Um, and the cast are very diverse and I'm looking for diverse casting. And so and I want people to, I want people to just, and I make people tell me what role they want. I might see what they're gravitating towards. And then I just kind of tell them. So right now, if you want to know little glimpses of what's going on, Fairview Heights and Manchester Avenue each have, um, an episode. So uh, a preview episode. I tell you about the shows. You can go to YouTube, JLJ Media, and watch them, or go on on any streaming service and type in Fairview Heights, or type in Manchester Avenue, or JLJ Media. You'll find them. They're not that long, and I tell you about the shows. Actually, I haven't done it for Mr. Toe Road yet. That'll be coming up soon. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one for that one, and let people kind of know what's going on with that and the premise, and uh, put that out. Because also, what is this? And this is a little behind the scenes. Because I'm offering them as audio uh, shows, I have to do something like a pre-show as a formality so that I can so I can submit for all the different um, platforms. I didn't want I I long time ago I uh, used to just wait until the show came out, and then because different platforms take different times to add you. I know, like, sometimes iHeartRadio and CastBox are, like, late. They, they take, like, a couple of weeks sometimes. Where others, Spotify, right away, at this point, they do it. Apple, right away. Like, they're usually right away. And I said, I, don't, I want to be able to put a show out and have everybody, every, I want everybody to be able to just go and just watch them or listen to them. I don't want to have to wait and go, coming soon to blah, blah. I want to say, go to... And then it's done. So that's uh, so we got so that's kind of a little inside thing. So I'll be doing something for Mr. Toro. And Mr. Toro Road is it's a Christmas show, but it's not what you think. Oh, 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 oh. Another question. James, how'd you like the Monica verses? So you mean the Brandy and Monica verses? I'm Team Brandy all the way, always. But I like Monica and I like a lot of her songs. But I just I just think that Brandy had as a, a broader catalog and more hits, quite frankly. Um, I know why they put them together, but they're very different. They're just very, I mean, you know, Brandy had all the acting stuff and she was very pop, where Mar- Monica was very R&B from the very beginning. So, and Brandy got more R&B a little later, but it's just like, they're just, they're very different. But I do like... I like Monica. I like, I like uh, First Night, Angel of Mine. I like, of course, The Boy is Mine. Uh, I like some Monica songs, but then I, but then I really like Brandy. I mean, Full Moon and, and What About Us and, and uh, I mean, just, I mean, Sit Up In My Room. And just, they're just really good. So, but I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched, pe- I was busy, so I just watched pieces of it. And I, I was entertained. I was entertained. I don't have, I don't, I, to be quite frankly, I don't have the time like everybody else does. I, I mean, and that's that's not even that's not even a like I'm all that or anything. So I just I'm seriously I'm always like working something. <laughs> so like, people are like you see this, I'm like I I have my DVR is always at like fucking twenty five percent because I'm I got so many things in my DVR that I just can't. It's a little once I start working in television, I watch less television. <laughs> I work in the medium, I watch less of it. I'm just really busy. I'm just like I'm busy producing stuff. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy creating. Uh, and then my and then my time off. I'm either taking naps or my garden. I just. I mean, that's where my time goes. I like television. I like to watch it. I like to watch things. I'm so bad that I haven't TikToked in a while. Now you goes no, no. I'm a TikToker. So I got to like tomorrow map out like three or four TikToks and just get them out there. Cause I have not TikToked in a while. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you know, living off my last TikTok from like four or five days ago. I'm like, I haven't even TikToked. And people, people are sending me videos. I'm like, I haven't even, today was my first day in like five days. I actually scrolled and watched some TikToks. I had like 10 minutes. And I was just kind of started like, I'm, oh, I miss watching TikTok. I just, I've been, I just, I'm, I'm literally so busy. And you guys know that. You know I'm busy. You know, you know I am. I mean, I'm like when I say that I'm not even 
I'm not even joking. When, you, when, I, when I say I'm busy, you know I'm busy. That's not even a joke. I do 10,000 things, so... I know, I got, I got to do, okay, so my TikToks, I got to, I, I have a map out of what I do. So I got to sit down and map out the next, like, three or four. I'm learning that I won't, I won't be doing them every day at this point because I'm just too busy. But every couple of days, I want to do them every couple of days at least. Let the ones that are out there kind of germinate through the public and get, get exposure. I have one that didn't do well at all. I'm shocked. I have one that, I know this sounds like so, like, I haven't done that well. It only did 200 and something views, and I average six or 700 at the least, and then it goes up. And this one, all the ones around it did really well. This one didn't do shit. So I don't know what's going on. I love my garden, too, and I have so many, I have so many plans. for. I have more plants in my garden. I bought some more plants today. I tried to rescue plants that are really bad. So I bought these two, my little jungle over here. You see my jungle up there too, that one up there, and that, and that all over there. But with these are two, the two latest, little babies. I don't have names for them. But yeah, then my friend, I have a friend who's a garden, a, a plant freak too, and he uh, was asking me about this thing called a Swiss cheese plant. And I was like, he sent me a picture. I was like, it looks like Swiss cheese. I got to try to find it for him. Plants in nature are so valuable when you are creating and editing. I, added, I was adding six interviews on my podcast. It was too much. <sighs> Sorry, like the wine, the wine's hitting me. This is my podcast, and it was too much. I felt cringy seeing as I wasn't balanced and rested. Okay. Um, yeah, I love, I love, I love, I just, I, I just love it. I have plants everywhere in my house. I mean, I have plants over here. I got a plant. I got a, I got a plant right there. I love plants, 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 plants. Um, I love plants. You have too many. I don't. You never have too many. But I have some ideas in my front and backyard. I have a, a shrimp plant that's growing so big that now I'm afraid to move it because it likes shade. <laughs> like me, I love shade. No, uh, I like shade. And it's doing so well where it is that I'm afraid to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it on. Oh, the guy behind that song passed away. Eric Morello passed away a couple days ago. The DJ. Um, but I, I, uh, I just completely like... I have ideas. I have all these ideas. Avocado plant. I have, a, I have an avocado tree in my backyard. They take forever to... When you first get them, they take like five to six years before they even give you any fruit. So I've never got any fruit yet. I think I'm working on five years. I don't have any fruit. The leaves are great. It's a great big bushy tree. But they take forever. So that's the one thing about... That's the one thing about avocado plants. I got plums... Limes, lemons. My fig tree is start, it's taking forever to grow, too. I have a fig tree that I won in a raffle. That's taking forever. I have nectarines, grapes, loquats. So, you know, it's, they're all... So I got, I got plenty of fruit, but I don't have avocados. Yeah, shrimp plant. I know. It's, I know her before either. My sister got it for me, and I love it. It's beautiful. I'll take another picture. I, I posted. I'll take another picture of it and post it. I took a picture. But it's growing so big... That I'm like, I got to find a spot for it in the shade. I might have to be in the backyard, I guess. I didn't want to, but three pits. We'll see the process. Let's see how they process avocados. My daughter did that and grew a cute stalk. She had a cute avocado stalk. It grew so tall. I don't know what happened to it. I should ask her what happened to hers. I love avocados. I love avocados. Right here. Oh. I love them. I know fig trees are tough. My grandmother always had one, and they were great. My friend, um, Dr. Hirsch, he has these, these fig trees that just, like, fruit so bad. And I actually have gotten some from them. They're so good. He has so many. But I should get some more from him. I don't think I'll text him. Give me any more figs. Figs we'll see. You'll see what happens. Just, that's how you start. You start small. Like life. I always, I always put gardening and, and, and growing stuff the same as life because you have to tend to it. You have to tend to it. You have to watch it great. You have patience. You have to love it. So, as a mature alcohol tree in his yard, someone came and stole it. Dang, that's crazy. Can't have nothing nice. But yeah, I, I like to. Um, I like to think that when I do gardening, it actually helps me stay focused, present, 
um, appreciative. Saturday's his 40th birthday. Saturday's his 40th birthday. Your drink should be white rum. The art of letting go. Mike Brown, kids, ladies and gentlemen. I say white rum with mango juice. That should be it. Virgo season. I have a lot of Virgo friends. My, my, that's my girl's birthday is coming up to you. I got a texter. That's Lori. We're just going up to you. Um, and my niece Jessica Herbert is coming up. So I let her go. How you doing? I let go. You coming out? This is the last. I think ten minutes of my show. Come on, we're, we're talking about. I I shaved my head on on camera. Um, I did a business deal on camera. I am, I'm telling people, and Art of Letting Go, if you know anybody, I am casting for three separate audio dramas. They're short. I'm looking for non-union. It's no pay at the moment. So it's your chance to just, you know, do some acting. Uh, the scripts are by myself and my partner, Jaime Molina. It's his production. He came up with the three shows. They're set in South L.A., and I'm trying to find actors and like, for big parts, small parts, all kinds of parts. One's a Christmas show. The other two are, are, are dramas. Um, and if you know anybody wants to be in one, send them my direction. And I'll send them pieces of scripts and all that kind of stuff. And I have a whole process. Um, but I'm casting. I, I saw I'm doing that. So just want to I'm letting, I'm letting you know also, race and age and color mean nothing. Sexual orientation means nothing. It's acting. So... Everybody is welcome. You don't, you don't have to live in L.A. because it's all audio. So, you know. If you want to be in one mic, you want to do a small role or something, you know you could do one too. Uh, you turn 40. What are dating-wise? Tauruses. Taurus and Virgos are great together. We're ruled. We're, ruled uh, we're both Earth signs. I've dated many Virgos. I, don't know, I, I get along. I get along. I, I know Virgos are critical and can be a little moody. Um... But they're, I get along the way. They're nice people, and they, you know. So I mean, let me know if you want to do something. I can send you some scripts. Um, and uh, um, I think I, I don't know what, who else Virgos are good with. Taurus is April and May. I'm a May Taurus. May Taurus. I'm a James of all trades. I'm going to still try to copyright that. Yeah, I shaved my head on camera. I can't believe I did that. Shaved my head, did some business. Now I'm doing business again. I'm like, it's all audio shows, folks. It's all audio. It's not, it's not video. So you don't have to be seen, just heard. Um, helicopter. That was not a police helicopter. That's, I felt heavier. It could have been a medical one, I think. Um, I try to do. I'm trying to do James of all trades. I'm trying to work on that one, uh, but yeah. So I'm just. I'm like. I want to give. My thing is, and this is. This is. I always do, and, and some of you guys know this already. My whole thing is giving people a chance who don't normally have chances. When I was casting GH Report five, six years ago, I put an ad out there, and I found people who were not known. Everybody tries to go for the known people. I know some known people, and they'll probably make appearances on the shows that I'm doing. But I said, for the leads, I want people that don't know them, and we can make them into something. So I found Lucretia Lyon and uh, Lady and Harvey and Frank Moran, and they're all successful. They're all successful in the hosting world. So I'm like, but that was my point. I gave them a chance. That's the whole point. Um, there are folk, there's a million people out there who want to do something and they just don't, and, they, and, and, and Hollywood will give like 10 people those slots and the other thousand are just floundering. So I tell people all the time, you know, you want, you, if you want to be an actor, you should always be acting somehow, whether it's a class or, you know, or, or, or student films or whatever, you should always be trying to do the, trying to do or practicing stage work, whatever. And I think sometimes you have to, you, know, you should know your worth, of course. Sometimes it's free. As a host, same thing. Sometimes it's free. And sometimes you get paid. You should never, but you, in either case, you should never be taken advantage of. Even if you get paid, you should be taken advantage of. Uh, so I tell people all the time, my shows aren't paid, but I will, I will 
consider your talent and your time. I'll be considerate of it. I don't know what happened to her. I liked her. I was a big fan of hers and their show. They stopped doing their show. If you don't remember, a long time ago, I had them on GH Report um, via via call-in. Um, I interviewed them and everything. And I liked her and the guy who were doing it, and they stopped doing it. And they disappeared. I have no idea what she's doing. Now, it's been several years. I know she had, I think she has some health issues, I think. So, hopefully, she's okay. I hope, I hope she is. I mean, I really do. I really liked them. I liked her. So, I don't know. It's funny you brought her name up. I don't, she was, last she did was Just the Maligned. Just the Maligned. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where she, I don't know where she is. So, I don't know what she has to do. I mean, she might be taking care of her life. Maybe, maybe she left the business. I have no idea. You know what I mean? I don't know what she's done or what she's doing. That's the thing, too. Some some things, like I said, AfterBuzz TV was not paid, folks. AfterBuzz TV, I wasn't paid at AfterBuzz TV. I was there for five years. I was not paid. But it did so much for my career. I mean, it was just much my career. I, I, can't, I can't think AfterBuzz enough. It, it literally built my fan base. It built my exposure. And what I did is I took that and got paying gigs out of it. I started there. And then I started to expand. I did what I was told After Buzz was supposed to be about, which was, and I did win an award. I, I can show you my, let's, let's take you to a journey to show you my award. So I like to show it off every once in a while because I don't really win awards. I'm always a fan favorite. Let's turn this on. It's so dark. On my mantle. Here's my Capital City Web Award for, I can't see, can't see it there. Let's see if we can do it here. Is it too much? It's backwards. But this is my beautiful award that I won this time last year. And this is the envelope that it came in for Best Entertainment News Series. Capital City Web Award. And, it's, and I, I remember when they pulled it out, and that's the winner. Breaking into James Lott Jr. A lot of folks didn't win awards at, at, at AfterBuzz TV. Only a few of us did. I was one of the few. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is I'm up for another award. And I think one of my shows that I'm up for is uh, Breaking Into. So, and the award shows next year. So I could possibly win another award for an uh, AfterBuzz TV show. I think I, I, think I submitted um, an AfterBuzz TV show, an Extra Connection show. So I think, yeah, so I think, well, that award there, I, I submitted my interview with Todd Bridges. That was a good interview. If you haven't seen it, Breaking Into a James Jr. and Todd Bridges. It's a good interview. It's so good. Um, and then I, did, I turned an episode where I was crying or something. You know what I mean? I, I, I cry and everything. Thank you. I appreciate it. I worked very hard on that show. Um, so that show, I did this show four years, 135 episodes, four years. I did. So this is, so I'm up again for Capital City Red Award next year. So 40 years old. I, my life changed at 40. I'm here today because of age 40, 11 years ago, I changed my life. Everyone support RandomlyRyanJr.com. Let's make his 40s great. Um, it's not too late to be great. Now I'm, now I'm rapping on here. Um, but seriously, you know, 40 is good. I love turning 40. I had a great, my 40s were an education for me. Turning 50 was good. My 50s are an education for me. Um, the world is yours. It's completely yours. It's whatever you make it. That's what I learned as I got older. I always, up to age 40, I thought life just happened to me. When I turned 40, I realized that I need to happen to life. That's what I learned. That the world, the life didn't just happen to me even up to 40. I was like, no, I just perceived it that way. Again, I, my reality was whatever I made of it. And there are choices I made 
during the first, first 40 years of my life, on the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So you sprinkle moon dust in your hair and golden eye like I'm on the world looking down on creation and the only explanation I can find. Oh, my, my voice is me because I'm drinking wine. All the love that I found ever since you've been around, your love puts me at the top of the world. Long ago, and oh so far away, I fell in love with you before the second show. Your guitar, it sounds so sweet and clear, but you're not really here. It's just the radio. What's another one? Um... It's going to take some time this time, and I'll learn how to mend. Like the young trees in the winter time, I'll learn how to bend. After all the tears we spent, how could we make amends? What's another song? Um, what's that one? That's that one. Oh my god, from the guy. I used to, I used to know all the Carpenter songs. I was a huge Carpenter fan. Calling occupants of interplanetary, most extraordinary craft. Um so I think is there any other carpenters? I'm, I'm blanking out, I'm blanking out some carpenters. Uh, oh I know there's another one. There's another one. Um rainy days and Mondays always get me down. That's tomorrow. And that's tomorrow, it's next week. Then we also have um What's my, my, my other song? Love, look at the two of us, strangers in many ways. We've got a lifetime to share. So, I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not even vocally wide. I need my honey sticks. Where are my honey sticks? I'm not even warmed up. So there's your carpenters for today. There's your carpenters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the carpenters. I do. She had a voice of an angel. She had the voice of an angel. Oh, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Yay, 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 Mr. Postman. Yesterday, once more, shooby do lang lang. Every sha la la la, every whoa, whoa, still shines. And of course, Merry Christmas, darling. Happy New Year, too. A little too early for Christmas. I guess that's some, that's some of their hits. Right? There you go. When did I come on? The countdown hasn't happened yet. I'm like, when did I come on? There it is. There it is. The last minute and a half, kids. You got some carpenters at the end. Randy RJ, I, anytime for me to sing, you know, I'll do it. Again, I wasn't warmed up fully because I'm drinking and stuff. But hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I shaved my head. I conducted some business. And I sang some Carpenter songs. You guys, this is Talk A Lot with James Lott Jr. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to post this episode tomorrow for those. Those of you guys who are watching this later, thank you. I'm, I'm getting, I mean, it's not getting, not doing a lot of views. But there are folks who are like viewing this. I'm like, I'll take the little 25, 30 people who are watching this later. This is my late night show. It's not even meant for the daytime. Um, but thank you. And we're, we're heading towards 100. I have four episodes left. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I wasn't even going to come on tonight. So I came on tonight. Everyone have a good Thursday. A good Thursday. It's, the, it's, the, it's, it's Labor Day weekend eve. So let's get ready for Thursday. Um, and, uh, yeah, talk to you guys all later. Bye.